Hi, I'm Alex Dutchbury and welcome to Art Class, a series of videos teaching you the key skills needed to create great art. In this video I'm going to teach you how to create a cool looking pop art collage. Let's look at the objectives. Can I use other artists as inspiration to make a piece that represents me in the world I live in and can I create an aesthetically pleasing collage design? Pop art originated in the 60s and it focused on popular culture. A lot of artists in America and England focused on producing pieces of work depicting themselves and also the world they lived in. This is something that we can try today in our modern context. Here are some examples that we could use as reference points. Robert Rauschenberg, who lived in the turbulent times of 60s America, depicting in his pieces people like JFK, the moon landing astronauts of Vietnam War. Richard Hamilton, who produces idyllic perfect room with lots of hints of other different pop culture and Peter Blake who produced the Sgt Pepper Beatles cover with all of the famous iconic people standing behind the Beatles. Although a lot of their designs look simplistic there's actually a lot of thought that goes behind them. There's going to be two stages to this process creating our abstracted pattern which still represents us and then creating a collage onto that pattern so it stands out and represents the time we live in so to begin with go around your house and try and find things that represent you and inspire you so i have always had a passion for watching european football so i've got all of my old jerseys my bayern munich lazio inter barcelona and actually these last two are the ones i've probably followed most closely over the years. So I'm going to perhaps use the stripes from those two kits. I've always had a fascination and interest in uh, Formula One motor racing as well. So maybe one of my favorite drivers, Lewis Hamilton, I could use the crest from his Mercedes car. And also I've always been keen um, at playing computer games with friends and family. So perhaps I could fit in the logos in some way or description into our design. So let's try some design ideas first to get our template in place. Don't create a massive design, perhaps keep it square, 25 centimetres by 25 centimetres. And you must remember these six key components to make your abstract design really successful. They are balance, composition, repeat patterns, symmetry, different size shapes and a good overall quality. So first start with identifying some of the key shapes and patterns from your objects that you want to depict. Then do some small compositional practice designs. This first one, I thought the stripes on the side, the Mercedes symbol, and also some logos, but looked a bit cluttered. So this second one, I thought maybe I'll have the PlayStation buttons in the corner, Mercedes symbol balancing the stripes on the side, but also the symmetry of the Nike ticks mirroring. Then scale up to a large scale. Now trace out your design. If you haven't got tracing paper, you can use something like baking paper. It's the same kind of effect. And all you need to do is draw it on one side, draw over the lines on the back, and then when you press it down onto, say, some cardboard, go over those lines again and it imprints the lead onto it so you can see where to cut. Okay, so now we move on to stage two, which is creating the collage, using materials and objects that will represent the time we live in. So maybe go through and collect up as much packaging that you can find around the house. Um, also things like magazines, they can work well. I've got loads of food packaging because they're always very bright colors because they're designed to stand out off the shelf so you actually want to go and buy them and also I've got things like um, an old box I used to have one of my Lego models in so perhaps I can cut that up because actually you want to have as much of that bright bold colour packaging in there and the branding and labels standing out because that represents the time we're living in as well as your interests your loves and your hobbies. So start with a large colourful piece for the background so you don't have any white paper showing. And then when you're cutting out the other objects, always consider the colours you're going to be placing them on so they contrast. Here I thought I'd use four circles and depict the Lego box in the background. Avoid having too much small lettering on display, like on the backs of food wrappers. And the colour is really important, so make sure in this case the Mercedes-Benz symbol and the Nike logos, I'm wanting to have them really bright. 
In fact, I've then considered maybe putting in a large picture for the Nike logos. And then also thinking about, like Peter Blake, adding images of famous or iconic people in. So I'm using some of my favourite Formula One drivers, Schumacher, Hamilton, Hill and Senna, for the logos inside. When sticking, use PVA glue if you can because it's stronger so it'll hold things like the cardboard to the paper much better. But don't use too much of it because it's water-based so if you put it on and then put your cardboard on top, squash it down, it'll squelch out everywhere and it'll go all over all the other work. So just put enough on or wipe it away if it spills out. If you don't have PVA glue though, you can always use a glue stick but just make sure you put enough of the glue on first. So now layering up, finally, you can still use your tracing paper to get all of the shapes in the correct place because of course, once you put that base layer down, you can't see where the lines are underneath. And if you do it quickly enough and don't apply too much glue, you can still move them about before they dry. But if it spills out, just wipe off any spillages and hopefully if you're using PVA glue, it will dry fairly clear. Then finally layering all of those key bits on and there you go, the final design, featuring all of those key six components. So it's balanced, it's got good composition, it has repeat patterns, symmetry, different size shapes and good quality. So there you go, your own pop art collage design. Whilst you've got your tracing paper there, try a few different variations with different color patterns. This was a different one I've tried stands out just as well, I think, or maybe design a completely different pattern altogether and try and replicate that with all of your different packaging. It can be a really fun one to do and it's something that you can do maybe with family members or friends as well. So give it a go and if you need any help or any instructions, have a look at this slide at the end of the video. It will just go through all of those basic steps again. I look forward to seeing how you get on. My name's Alex Dutchbury, goodbye.